So how do we do the intro? Um, I usually don't. That I'm gonna do. I'm Icy Mike from the channel Hard to Hurt, and yeah. this is Sensei Seth from this channel that you're watching. Yeah. Sensei Seth is teaching me some karate stuff. Yeah. And we're mixing it with my stuff. Stuff. Uh, we're not gonna, like he says, we don't get don't get hung up on the terminology. Right. Here's a cool thing that you can do. He's gonna try. He kicks a lot, so he's gonna kick me a lot. Maybe leg kicks or body kicks or front kicks. If he does front kicks a lot, this is perfect. So he hits me with that front kick, and now I'm like, oh crap, there's a front kick. So I'm gonna try to move offline, right? That's what you're supposed to do. So I move over here, and then, oh, here's a front kick, and I move over here, and here's a front kick. So here's what Seth can do if I'm starting to get a little too defensive of his front kicks. So you throw your front kick. Oh, he's trying to block my front kick. Throw my front kick, and some people will parry him, some people do like, like that one. Yes. Yeah, boom, but I'm occupying his hands with my front kick, Every time my leg comes up, look, his hand does dumb stuff that he shouldn't do with his hand if I didn't really kick. He's not supposed to do that, but he will, especially if you've stung him a couple times or really hurt him. And then it gets to where, when you can see this, when this happens, so blocks, blocks, boom, I got that. That's all I need. Now we're gonna get into dirty, nasty trash fighting, which if you want more of, subscribe to Hard to Hurt. So I pick my leg up and his hands do dumb stuff, so all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the momentum of me picking my leg up to just let this foot slide. So my knee comes up, foot slides. What that gets me to is trapping range. So here, this isn't like a real position. This is not a technical clinch position sure. that anyone knows about, but he can't punch me. If he moves to punch me, I'm already checking him, but I can punch him from here. So I kick, I kick, lift it. Ooh, now I've trapped his hands. Now, if this was a street fight, self-defense thing, whoop right? If this is Muay Thai, whoop And if this is anything else, cow, like that. You can grab this if you want to. You don't have to, you just have to check it. It's just in this moment, we come here and he can't punch me in this moment, but I need to have a plan. And if you're, if the rule set allows or it's a self-defense thing, we start pummeling for like underhooks and things like that. We start our wrestling. But the idea is just to get from out here where I don't want to be against Sensei Seth for sure to in here. One surefire way to get their hands to come down low is go like whoop, like that. Mm -hmm. yep. Their hands are going to come down. Yep. An untrained person, even if you start the leg kicks, their hands will start to yeah, come right. down if they've not Absolutely. been trained. It's, for it's, whatever reason, they think this feels better than, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a natural reaction. But especially if you've gone down there because I know I'll get it is this practical for self-defense to do this yeah <laughs> yeah 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 if you go like this and then a person puts their hands yep. down like this mm -hmm. this yeah. is yeah. open yeah. This yeah. Is right. it bridges the gap from and people say oh don't kick in self-defense yeah and there's merit to it like I I get it right. but if you are really good at kicking yeah no I yeah absolutely. And then you don't, I don't actually have to kick. An untrained person, if I do this, they start reacting. Yeah, reaching, right. So I just have to do that. That's it. Whoop. Common mistake is people go like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which gives me time. Point sparring, karate, taekwondo type yeah. newer guys, they uh -huh. have a habit of like going. Up, down, yeah. And like putting that, putting this foot like. Ah! Yeah. But it's, it's a quick. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. And if I can add something. Uh, the re he's keeping his foot on the ground the entire time because if his foot is off the ground, then he can't control what his body does as much. So if I throw a kick and his foot is still somewhat on the ground, he at least has a base. If he throws, if he jumps up and he throws something, then I am knocking him off balance because both of his feet are off the ground. He's keeping one foot on the ground yep. the entire time. I could at any at any moment reestablish my base yeah, or a, or abort that whole abort. Yeah, abort the whole thing. Out. Yeah, but I'm not going. Yeah, overcommitting for sure. Just swat it out of the air. Yeah. Sensei Seth doesn't know how to do an intro. He also doesn't know how to do an outro. 